Alberta's love of trucks is perhaps no surprise. Out here, you see everybody driving them, and it's great. The night Alberta Premier Jason Kenney claimed his victory, he pulled up in one. But Albertans are far from alone. Right across the country, when it comes to driving, Canadians are choosing more gas-guzzling large cars. As my study showed, it happens to be that we have the the largest cars and the most fuel-consuming cars in the world, actually. A recent report from the International Energy Agency found Canadians are driving the least fuel-efficient vehicles in the world and are emitting the most CO2 per kilometre driven. Why? In short, because of what we pay for gas. We certainly like to complain when it goes up, I do too, um, but on a global scale our, our gas prices are, are cheap. Driving in Alberta has become even more affordable. With the end of Alberta's carbon tax and nearly seven cents a litre tax at the pump disappears. If the federal carbon tax is implemented, four and a half cents come back, but that's still a two and a half cent difference. Savings that add up when you're regularly filling a 100 litre tank. Electric vehicles, which are fast becoming the norm in countries like Norway, are harder to spot in places like Calgary. But after nearly four years, Greg Genj says he'd never go back. I didn't necessarily buy the car because it was green. I, be, I bought it because it was very fast. Genj pays about $25 a month in electricity costs to keep his EV powered up. And though he's never had a problem with his vehicle, he finds himself defending his car to skeptics almost every day. They're always asking me negative things about the car, which is really interesting. Getting people into more electric vehicles and out of large gas guzzlers is an important step towards achieving greenhouse gas emissions targets. It's why the federal government is now offering a $5,000 subsidy to anyone who purchases an EV. In some provinces, consumers are entitled to even more. A start, this expert says, but if Canadians are going to start driving towards greener habits anytime soon, much more needs to be done. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.